friends, I am back. I am sorry. Just please ignore the backdrop because it is just absolutely trashed. I've been trying to work on putting my room back together, but it is a, it's a hot mess. And not hot, it is just a mess. And let's go ahead and briefly discuss that I'm going to be doing my videos a little bit differently than I used to. I'm no longer going to do an intro and swatches and looks and then an outro. I just feel like a lot of times my outro is redundant, so there's no point in doing that. I'm just going to give you all the information you need in the first half of the video, but I will also just be including the important details down at the bottom for you guys to be able to read. I feel like that's probably easier than me trying to record stuff a million times. You guys don't see that behind the scenes, but it usually takes me a ton of takes just to talk about like really basic details. I'd much rather spend that time giving you guys my opinion about stuff, but you'll still be able to see swatches and you'll still be able to see looks. I'm not ever going to be super in depth with looks though, because I am just not a makeup artist. I'm just here having a little bit of fun. With that being said, let's talk about the brand of the hour. So we are discussing Black Moxie Cosmetics. They actually sent me this collection. I am really grateful that they did. I really love this brand. The owner is very kind and I am really happy for her. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Now there are four singles that are launching and I'm just going to show them to you. They're kind of out of order. Um, this is what they look like. I have them in kind of a custom palette that my friend Delaney made. I love these. Two of them are multi-chromes and two are metallics and I'm wearing just a metallic shade and I kind of blended it out. It is the only thing on my eye today and I am obsessed with it. I just genuinely feel that they've done a really good job with this formula. Now, if I were to liken this formula to anything, I would very much compare it to Pretties for Your Face. It is a little bit flaky. It is a little bit dry, but it works really well. Like I, when you see my swatches, all of my swatches are never on a base and if they are, I would always let you know, but I can only think of one time I think ever that I've actually used a base for my swatches because typically I don't like to do that. I want you to see what the actual performance is if you don't have an eyeshadow base. Now these right here are definitely in that flaky category, but when you swatch them out or put them on your eye, they definitely build very nicely. So if you're swatching them, they come out to be a smooth texture and they're beautiful, but if you're trying to put them on the eye, depending on how you apply them, you're going to get multiple textures in my opinion. I'm going to get close because I have both smooth strokes and kind of like dabbled strokes. Now I did use an eyeshadow base. I just prefer to do that. I normally do that anyway, but when it is a flakier texture, I like that to hang on a little bit. That way, less that it, less that I need it to keep it on my eyelid but more that I want it to be precise where I'm putting it. But this is what I came up with just with one eyeshadow and I can't I keep repeating it because it just kind of blew my mind to get this kind of a look which maybe it is really basic but I'm very happy with it. I feel really confident. I like the way that I look. I feel like a men's warehouse ad right now but I am really excited about it and I think that you guys will be too. Now these are cruelty free, they're vegan and they're handcrafted which is I mean a rare breed anymore it feels like in this community. A lot of the indie brands out there are definitely sourcing out to the PRC which is fine and I do love those formulas. I'm not, not like, I do love those formulas but it's so nice to see someone putting their own heart and soul into their products. As far as shipping I've never had an issue with how anything has come to me. They package really well, they ship really quickly. I definitely think they do a nice job with that. I was very surprised about the pricing of this collection because truthfully a lot of duochromes from other brands are a lot more expensive and they don't even make them themselves. But having tried these I feel like the price for the quality is exceptional and I feel that the pricing is very fair for what you're getting here. So if you haven't had a chance to check them out I definitely think now is a good time to do that and with that being said I hope that these swatches and looks will be helpful to you guys and I hope that everybody's staying safe and healthy and I'll see you guys in the next one. So this look is extremely easy. I only did one thing, like literally one thing. I put down an eyeshadow base and then I took the shade Radiation and I put it all over my lid and I put it underneath my lash line and then I kind of blew it out with a puffy eyeshadow brush and that is literally all I did for this. And I've got to say, and I've got to say, I think it might be one of my favorite looks that I've had in a very long time. Well, I totally messed up and I did not record the process of me putting it onto this eye, but let me just tell you it was extremely simple and I really love the way it turned out. 
Okay, so this look was super simple as well. All I did was take the shade Galactic and I put it all over my lid and then I took the shade Celestial and I put it just in my outer V, kind of blew it out on both top and bottom. And I only took one other shade. You can choose any shade of this color if you want to copy this look. And it was this shade in the Muerte palette. But if you find anything that's kind of in this tone, it's going to do about the same thing. All I did was kind of blow it out on the top and the bottom and that was literally all I did.